Good morning guys, welcome back to another sanctuary vlog. So coming over to feed the goats and the pigs. It is going to be a less eventful morning than yesterday with the big rattlesnake. Julie! Hi right, Petunia, pushing on me. All right guys, see Daisy down there scrounging. Julie! And she's gone. How about Petunia? Does Petunia want something? You wanna sit? Can you sit? Yeah, I'm gonna sit. Cool piggy. Whoa. You sit, Daisy? Oh, you go, girl, Daisy. There you go. Good sit, Petunia. Whoa. There you go. Look at those gold piggies. Look at that good sit, Daisy. Oh, yes. Good girl. Sit, Petunia. Can you sit? Sit. Sit. Oh, there you go. Daisy, you're so cute. I just want to pet you, but you don't like to be pet. But you're smart. You know how to sit. Dinosaur tracks in the mud. The culprit. You guys are getting so big so fast. And you're growing so big. And even you. They love the water. Big baby Uma is getting dark, losing the stripes. The head is turning black. Growing up, it's so sad. I want them to stay babies forever. These are the Patagonian Mara, or KV. That's the male tugging away the bull. He does this every time. Look at their little weird stilt legs. You guys are so funny. Got little weird stilt legs. A little weird tail. Look at that little tail. It's like a weird little knob on their butt. You hear him making all those little weird grunts too? Mm, maybe. Yeah, there you go. See, it's okay. Super fine hair. But they don't like being pet very much. So feeding the foxes. Here's Hazel and her log eating. And then Kira and Yue over here eating. There you go, guys. Looks like they've got some chicken grind, quail grind, some tuna fish, some freeze-dried duck, exotic canine diet, and apple, and dried minnows too. Whole bunch of good stuff. So Shippo over here has been blowing out his coat for the summer. And I'm like, there is just hair everywhere. <laughs> like you could, you could literally build, that's all, that's all fur. You could build another fox. Like 
Look at all this. This is crazy. Look, Shippo, we got your baby brother. We just collected all that within the last couple of minutes here. I mean, crazy. That's not even the corner that he sleeps. Look at the corner he's in right now. Yeah, he's sitting in the other corner. We don't want to, like, disturb him and make him feel cornered, but there's a bunch over there, too. So I'll have to get that later. Uh, so we just put Hazel in with Shippo. Oh, she's being excited. And eating all of his food. But she's not being aggressive about it. Yeah, but do you want to let her eat all of his food? Probably not. Well, let's just ship him. Well, this is what we wanted to see what happened. Oh my god. My goodness, Hazel! Oh, she is kicking his butt. No, he's gonna give it back. I think he's excited. I think he likes it. Yeah, she likes his food and she's winning. <laughs> How do you think it's going? Uh, well, <laughs> could be worse. They're so goofy. At this point, anyone near you, if you have the audio on, is probably wondering what is going on. Well, this continues on for another, like, 15 minutes, but I'll go ahead and edit that out. And then eventually, they calm down and seem like they're getting along. So here's Lily eating. She's got some banana right there. So she's got some banana, corn, monkey biscuit, hard-boiled egg, uh, some, what is that? canned chicken, monkey biscuit, uh, some nuts, some cranberries, lots of good stuff. Jelly bean! Oh, what is this? What is this crap? There's no blueberries. We ran out. I know. You gotta settle. He's got carrot, he's got apple, he's got pear, he's got banana, he's got cucumber. Look at him. He is angry. No blueberries equal stabbing time. Hi, Cupid. Can you come here? You want to step up? Oh, good boy, Cupid. There we go. There you go. Delivery service for dinner. Yeah. Oh, it is good boy, Cupid. Look at Chloe enjoying her walnut. You happy, happy girl, Chloe? Yeah. You go, Olaf. Ooh, wow, he cracked that thing like nothing. Yeah. So I say, like, having a parrot like this is like giving. It's like the intelligence of a three-year-old with like a pair of industrial strength pliers on its face. You just rip everything apart and bite you if it's angry or upset or feeling emotional. Oh my God. Come on, get your food. Get down there, Poppy. You cannot climb me like this. Come here. There you go. Have some food, guys. 
Oh my god, Emu's got the zoomies. Look at him go. They're being crazy. Look at their burrow. So like they started to dig around this side, so they've got like this crazy crater going on. Yeah, you eating a flower. Yeah, we got some dried flowers in here. So this is the first gator enclosure and the one that is closest to being fully completed. <laughs> so we've already got most of it cleared up. We planted a bunch of grass seeds. It's growing in pretty patchy, but it's, you know, it's coming in. Um, so now we just need to clean it up a little bit more, try to get out a lot of this brush and whatnot. Uh, I was just pulling out some of these. heavy is that? It's not light. Okay. Um, some of these logs, I guess we could still move. I don't know. I kind of like having logs. In yeah, here. that's okay. I just don't like all the leaves and leaves in a forest. I know, but like this all looks green and then that just looks meh. <laughs> yeah, well. So we could try to get some of it out maybe. I want to break up some more of this and get it out. Yeah, it's definitely. Really excess concrete that was poured, so. Yeah. Um, today we also went and bought some uh, native plants to plant. So like we got over there, we bought uh, a couple of kunti. That's a native cycad, which is really, really cool. And that is a 10 year old plant. They take forever to grow. Yeah. We got that one. We got um, magnolia right here too that we can plant. So we're trying to put some native plants in here that'll look good. Um, I guess we still need to do some landscaping in here and whatnot, but. Yeah, we're gonna get approved any day now. Oh, we don't want them eating everything, huh? Hey, not for you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but like all this, I want to try to flatten this out and get some of these leaves and some of this stuff. So, you want to start that today or? Moving some of this stuff out? Yeah, or tomorrow. Yeah, we can. Look at Clovey on that dirt pile. Oh, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing, good girl? So yeah, so continuing on uh, with this. So yeah, they will have a hard time getting up and over this. So that'll help out a lot. That is not required by uh, the standards for fish and wildlife. So that's an addition I'm choosing to put in here. I did thicker wire, uh, thicker than what is required. I'm doing this topper up here that is not required. And then I also plan on doing a uh, dig guard on the bottom with some fencing. I'm just having a hard time finding some good fencing. So if anybody out there is throwing away some chain link, let me know. Cause that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get used chain link cause we're gonna put it in the ground. So it can be beat up and you know, dirty and whatnot. I just don't wanna go buy brand new nice chain link and then stick it in the ground when I know people are pulling it out and throwing it away. So I'm just trying to do that, you know? But, uh, but yeah, so this goes all the way around so they've got a pretty darn big area over here uh we just need to work on the ground here so we need to kind of flatten this out and grade it it's just but they've been doing the machine to be able to put the fence posts and everything up there so it's all kind of beat up we've got some trees that they knocked down putting in the pond itself we got to get these out so there's definitely a lot of cleanup work still needing to be done in this enclosure uh but it is pretty darn exciting 
Uh, now we just need to run water to this one, which should be happening maybe, I think this week we're going to do that. So you can see this is filled with rainwater right now. So actually we just got the water ran into the second gator pond, which is back over that way. So the first and second now have water hooked up to them. And then we just got to hook up to the third one here. And then I am in the talks right now uh, with my friend who works on ponds and whatnot about setting up a flow through system for this pond so that we have a constant flow of water coming through, draining out on that side. Uh, so we'll have this constant flow through system and then also possibly doing a uh, circulate, circulating pump in here too with some light filtration oh my god clover clovey why are you in there what are you doing <laughs> clover get out of there <laughs> <laughs> oh now she's got the zoomies oh goodness yeah crazy girl She's all excited. <laughs> so yeah, so anyway, so this pipe sticking out of the ground right here actually goes down to the center right there. So it's a big U right there. So we can hook this up for our actual. So the idea is if you guys seen the other videos, I hook up a trash pump and I use that to actually suction out from the bottom right there. That's a pain in the butt. Um, it's doable, you know, that's what we're doing. What I want to do is instead of doing that, uh, hook this up with a circulating pump that'll keep the water just kind of moving and flowing anyways, along with this flow through system we're talking about. And then when I need to actually drain it, we just turn some valves on that circulating pump and that'll actually drain it out. Now, as far as where we're going to drain it to, um, we are discussing some different options here. I'm not sure yet. We have not settled on one, but one of the ideas is to have it go out into like a, uh, well, cre well, I have a natural pond right here it's a natural marshy area and if we do put the flow through system draining out to that um 90 of that water is perfectly clean and uh it will be much cleaner than the water already in that pond i can tell you that right now so okay so that is an idea i'm not sure if we're going to do it that way though the other idea is to put it out into a different like kind of like marshy area that we make into a turtle area out there so that would be really cool to do too uh, these are just some ideas that we are throwing around right now though so we're not sure yet All right, now we're coming out to do night checks. We've got clover peen check. We've got the Jets food, Asami food, and Olaf meds. There's Jet. What you doing, Jet? Hi, buddy. And Asami mommy. There's Miss Asami chowing down. So she's getting a bunch of stuff. She's got carrot, celery, um, hard boiled egg, banana, what is this one? Apple, um, some live bugs, some nuts, dried cranberry, pepper, uh, freeze dried duck, I think. What are you eating? Can't even tell what she's actually got. There you go, Jet. So, Jet has got some. Exotic canine diet, hard boiled egg, ground rabbit, and peppers, and banana. Alright, so koatis are out. Hi, guys. Hi, Lola. Loli. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. There's Lily, and I see fox eyes back there, so they're all good. Yeah, and Bobby. Oh, no stealing, no stealing. There we go. Good boy, that's all your medicine. There we go, good boy. All right, so decided to walk down to our lake and have a look around. You can hear the barking tree frogs calling. That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and end the video, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see y'all next time.